I ended my last American chestnut tree video by planting two chestnut seeds into these clay pots with potting soil. I kept them in the sunlight and watered them regularly, but alas, germination did not occur, so I dug them up and took them out before they started rotting. Unfortunately, this method is not working either. I have no germination. So I've done, what I should have done from the beginning is research YouTube for how to germinate tree nuts. And true to the germination triangle, what I'm trying to do is wrong in the temperature category. What these tree nuts actually need for temperature is a low temperature. Uh, so I'm gonna use a different method here. I'm gonna pivot. Hopefully these nuts are still good and I can get some germination out of them. Uh, this one is getting a little bit soft, but we'll see. I'm going to wrap each chestnut in a Kleenex, put it in a dish, and then just wet the Kleenex. So this is an interesting method. The tissue simulates some seed to soil contact and also provides a sponge-like material for moisture. Then we're gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to overwater it. I'm gonna put the cap on, then put this thing in the fridge for 10 to 15 days and hopefully I get some germination. It has been 30 some days with the chestnuts in the refrigerator. Let's see if we're having any success. Well, the answer there is no. And the answer here is no. Stick it back in the fridge for a while. It seems I have underestimated what it takes to make the seeds germinate of this chestnut tree. So I'm a little frustrated there. What I think I need to do is collect a bunch this fall, put them in a wet sand mix in a bucket, and then bury that bucket in the ground and let it go through winter. Um, seems there's another YouTuber who's, who's quite good at propagating the chestnut tree and that's what he does and it seems like he's got pretty good success over there. So I have definitely underestimated what it takes to get these chestnuts to germinate. But if I'm going to have any great success, I need to find more. I only found two kind of fertile looking chestnuts from this tree here. So today, before everything greens up and the woods gets... Um, real hard to walk through and the ticks come out bad. I'm going to try to find a couple more trees to keep my eyes on this fall to see if I can get some more chestnuts to hopefully get them germinated and uh, next year get some seedlings going. This is the large American chestnut tree in my backyard just off the house and the only place I have not searched for additional trees is on the side of this ridge. And I should actually say I I've covered some of it and I believe there's one additional tree up here at least. So we're gonna start there. We're gonna get that identified and then look, look this uh, ridge over a little bit better and see if we can find some more. As I've mentioned in other videos, I believe why I'm finding so few fertile nuts from this tree is that there's not another one close and upwind basically, the prevailing wind in this area is northwest wind. Um, there's not one upwind of that to pollinate this tree. So hopefully, I know I have at least one more up here, hopefully I've got one upwind of the one I know of where I can identify more than one and they have a better chance of producing some chestnuts that would be appropriate as seeds. As I'm hiking through the woods, I'm actually keeping my eyes on the ground, which might seem odd when we're looking for a tree, but I'm looking for the spiky pods that the chestnut produces. Like this one here. So I found a few 
in this area that don't know what specific tree they're coming from. But this is an excellent time of year. Late spring, when the snow's all melted, we can see all the ground. And uh, hopefully we're gonna come up on some more. Not up here, oh, down this way. All right, jackpot. Look at all those. I am not any expert arborist, but these are definitely American chestnut pods, this spiky, real fine spike. Um, actually hurts quite a bit if you accidentally grab this too hard. That's American chestnut pod. And not the best with bark either. But since these chestnut pods are circling this tree completely, I would say this is our chestnut tree here. So number one found, and it makes sense. This is basically directly south from the larger tree. So not good wind direction for pollination. We're a couple hundred yards away. So that makes sense why I'm getting marginal pollination. This looks to be a younger tree. Does not have the diameter, pretty good height, um, but it's competing here with kind of a mature canopy. So it makes sense, it grew pretty tall. But yeah, I'm stoked. So this is tree number one. Hopefully, if we go west from here, we can find another tree that would be a good pollinator for this one. So there'd be a better chance of coming up in here in fall and getting some uh, fertile chestnuts. Definitely do not see any nuts on the ground right now besides those pods, which isn't surprising because deer and squirrels love these things and they vacuum them, them up very quickly. Uh, it's definitely preferential even over acorns. They, from what I've seen, they come hit these and uh, basically vacuum them up every day or every second day. So you, when it's time, then they're falling, you gotta come look pretty often uh, to find what little I even do on the other tree. But this gives me a big advantage. All right, let's keep hiking over this way. This isn't very far from my house, so I can don't really want to mark it, obviously, to call attention to it. You never know who's poking around. This is my land, um, but still, it seems people do strange things. So anyway, let's look for more seed pods. Look at this, we've got some old bottles out here. Wonder how old that is. Oh baby, we're on the trail. I'm not an expert on the bark, but I think it's this tree. Right here, it looks pretty similar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's pods all around here. This baby. And it looks, looks like it's in very good health. Not quite as big as the one in the backyard, but pretty good size. So if we get closer, we can see all the seed pods. Definitely producing a lot. The question is, Are they, is there something to pollinate this thing? Hopefully, hopefully that answer is yes. Well, we did find two additional chestnut trees that are producing nuts. 
So while I'm not very good at propagating the two nuts that I collected last fall, there is hope for the future. Hopefully I can harvest more this fall and uh, take a more disciplined approach to try to getting those chestnuts to germinate. The only thing that's tempering my expectations for this fall is the ones I found. It's like they're perfectly spaced apart a little bit further than I'd like for pollination. So it's a couple hundred yards between each tree and not in a very good wind direction. Um, so a south wind would be the best for all of them, I think. Um, but I'll just have to be diligent this fall and check underneath those trees regularly when those nuts are dropping and see if I can find some. So that leads me to my next bit of work, and that is cutting in trails to each one of those trees so I can make it efficient to go look and harvest those nuts. I worked with a forester to thin this woods out on this side of the ridge. Um, to keep those mature trees healthy and give them appropriate space. That has opened up the canopy and the undergrowth is going bananas. It's only been a couple years and it's uh, pretty dangerous to walk through right now with all the blackberry brush and such. So I'm going to have to do something to make that efficient because otherwise I fear I'm, not, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to look for the nuts, and then I won't be able to propagate the American chestnut. Stay tuned. Stay with me on my journey here. It's not the easiest one. Uh, to be honest, I thought uh, I'd drop those two chestnuts that I have in a uh, pot of soil, and they'd spring up, and I'd have a tree. But obviously, that's not the case, so it's going to take a little bit more work and time than I thought, but I think it's worth it. Thanks for watching. Adios.